Welcome back to City Scene. You know, I know earlier we were talking about music here in Sunday in the Park at the Town Common. We're at the amphitheater for a different event. It's got music with it and it's going to be great. It's part of a new event we've got. It's called Greenville Grooves. Do you like that, Greenville Grooves? Carol, you like that? I like that. I love That's it. That's my new move. This I is my it. man, Carol Dashiell. How are you, you sir? Great to see you. Man. I appreciate Great to that. See you. you know, I think it's probably been like, what, 16 years since we were on TV together? This is true. This is true. But this is great, and I'm glad to be here. Glad to be here. We're glad to have you here. So, so that you know, we're putting on this new music festival, Greenville Grooves, and it's a part of African American Music Appreciation Month. And our headliner this year, Carol Dashiell. Man, we're excited to have you. Well, thank you so much. We're glad to be here, you know, glad to be able to bring the music home, because this is home. And right. we're just going to have a good time, you know, uh, fellowship, fun, with music, and, and family. And that's, you know, that's, that's our brand. That's right. great. Now, I know you had the Motown show, but you've got a different show that you're bringing for this event, right? Right. It's going to be a combination of the Motown show, but it's also going to incorporate some different styles. Uh, maybe, a little, maybe a little audience participation. You know, I always say what happens at the show stays at the show so okay. we'll see so even though we're recording it you know you you don't want to see my dancing trust me that's great but it'll it's be good. good stuff out here dancing and i noticed you got your bass with you you walk around with the bass all the time pretty much it's it's, it's another appendage so we try to <laughs> keep it that way <laughs> okay well this event happens on june 13th it's at 5 30 it's a friday afternoon so get off work Go grab the kids, grab the family, grab the neighbors, come on out to the town common. What can people expect when they come out here? Well, what we like to do is give something for everyone. So you'll find some oldies, you'll find some goodies, you'll find some new things, and um, some contemporary things, and some surprises. Some surprise guests coming out? Possibly some surprise guests. Okay, we got some local folks who are gonna be here, even though he's our local legend. We got some <laughs> uh, musical acts that are from the community that'll be performing as warm up. Uh, we got promotions from a couple of radio stations. We got KISS FM on board, yeah. mm -hmm. WNCT uh, 107.9 is on board. Beach Boogie and Blues is mm -hmm. going to be out here as well. It should be a good time. And uh, lots of dancing though, right? Lots of dancing, lots of dancing, lots of fellowship, lots of fun, lots of family. Now you keep mentioning family and, and this is part of a tradition of music and, yes. and, mm -hmm. and that's one big component is that family and passing things down and tell mm -hmm. me about your experience and, and someone who is slightly influential <laughs> in the musical world <laughs> and, and in your history with, with how music was passed down through you. Well it's, it's one of those things that, that is always great because there's so much material that's not written in the books mm -hmm. but when you have that that one on one relationship with different artists that have, have come before you. Uh, and, and they get to share those, those real life experiences. That's what we try to do with our music also. So, uh, for instance, a Dr. Billy Taylor, who was born and raised in Greenville, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. We have him, who I spent a lot of time with and studied his music and studied him, and I was able to borrow things from him, and I'm, hopefully I can pass it on. But then, you know, pass it on to my children, but also our community. And then hopefully, hopefully, you know, they'll pass it on also. But I, I learn as much every day from from my community and my friends and my students that I only hope they get a little bit from me. Now I know that you teach uh, and you're in charge of the jazz program at ECU, so there's an obvious passing on there, mm -hmm. but you've got these musicians. And, and tell me about the interaction with the younger folks in your band. Well, what's really great is uh, Dr. Taylor and I talked and one of the things that he said you know Carol I always try to keep someone in my band or a couple of people in my band that are younger or much younger or more of the contemporary age he said because that keeps the music fresh it keeps it moving keeps it alive and uh, and I think that's that's true so that's what we have too we have uh, uh, guys in the band and I have some family members too then some you may know but we'll see <laughs> we'll see if they show up we'll see <laughs> well if they're family members they better show up right they better if they Yes, right they, that, that's right. That's right. Well, that's cool. And I like that, that, you know, you got a lot of the older music, you got the new music, and you yeah. got the even some of the old music with the new feel with the younger musicians right, adding right. their little licks in there. Yeah, and that's that's the thing that's really cool because you may hear something like uh, My Girl, 
but it may have a little different slant on it. It may have a little hip hop slant on it. And, and that's, that's, that's mixing the, the, the genres, but it's also keeping the tradition alive, but keeping it fresh and moving forward. So that's what we're trying to do. How music evolves. It's not yes. the same old stuff. So the people come see your show right. three, four, five years ago. It's not going to feel the same. It's not no. the same music. It's going to be all new, really. Right, because it's, it's in the moment. And, and one of the things that we like to do is feed off the audience, feed off the crowd. Uh, I always say, this is the band that knows what's best for you, but, you know, we like to, we like the feedback from the band, from the audience. So the more into it the audience is, the more into it you guys get right. out of That's imagine. true. That's true. Yeah. And we, and we have a great time. It's just really about the communication. So communicating from the, from the, the, the music that's on the page to the instruments, through the bodies, out to the audience, and then the feedback from the audience. And it's just a cycle and a circle. And we, we, we love that. All right, so it's a chance to get up here and enjoy them jamming and maybe a part of the jamming going on as well. It's Friday, June 13th, starts at 5.30 here at the Town Common. Uh, bring a picnic, bring yes. a blanket, bring chairs, mm -hmm. come on out, have a good time. It'll be a great event for the whole community to come together. We're working on getting some vendors to come out and sell some food, so maybe if you don't have your food with you, you'll be able to get it here as well. Yeah, that's Did great. I miss anything? Yeah, I think that's it. How about the cost? I think it's free. We love that. We love that. It's all paid for by the city of Greenville and our sponsors as well. We appreciate that. Carol, thank you very much. Thank you so much. And be prepared it. to get up out of the chairs, out of your lawn chairs, out of your seats, off the grass, and have a good time. Sounds great to me. Jonathan will even be out there, so come say hi to him and also to Carol and the group.